Hi, I'm Bob Ailes from Happy Wanderer. My son, Bradley, and I are the directors of the company that's been making antennas and importing antennas for 25 years. And congratulations on buying the new uh, DT8 antenna. It's a brilliant antenna. It's a little bit tricky to put together, so the idea now is to show you how to put this antenna together very simply with a couple of little tricks, and it's very easy. Now, what you should do is you've got the brochure here, and that lays out all the parts. So it's best to lay out all the parts first, exactly as they are in the brochure. You know exactly where to go for them. The only thing it doesn't show in the past list is this U-bolt. This U-bolt, and that's very integral, and that's what's been confusing people. So, when you get the antenna laid out, you'll notice that this is the reflector. It has six squares at the top side and four at the bottom with rectangulars in the middle. It's designed that way, so this is the top of the antenna. So this, when I refer to the top, this is the top, and that's the bottom, obviously. So the first thing you do is you get that part there with the, with the edges sitting up, and you lay this over the squares with the, with the hole to the top. So I'll just pause at this stage. As you can see, I've positioned this round element onto the wire mesh. It can only fit one way with the rectangles and the squares. So once that's been fitted, you then turn the unit upside down. And then you get the most important part is this bulk set. That's, this is what's not clear in the instructions. You position that over there like that. And then this one, you've got the wider serrations here and the narrow serrations here. This narrow one goes to the bottom down there. And the wide. And the main middle hole to take the bolt goes there. Now I just position this bolt at this point here now, just to position it. This is where we now put the part together by taking the one screwdriver, and that's all you need to put this whole thing together and tighten the smaller bolt. Once that's tight and everything is positioned, you can then take this bolt out or leave it, it doesn't matter. Right. The next step is to take the UHF element and attach the cable, the small cable, to the screw at the back of the element. I have positioned I've now attached the small cable to the, the dual element and this is, at this stage you then put the cable through the, the hole so that it goes to the back of the antenna and then you just simply turn this upside down, square everything up and tighten the bolt. And the element, and now the antenna is, is put together. It's just a matter of now clipping the VHF element on. And this is the VHF element. Now the difference between VHF and the UHF is all city locations in Australia are now VHF, and this is when this part is used. This is for country, all country locations are UHF, and that's when this part of the antenna is utilised. Now at this point, it's easy to put this on before you attach the element and this UHF cable coming from the UHF element is to go into the UHF in, which is quite clearly shown on the back of this element. So you just tighten it up, finger tight, and then attach the boot. Then you take the long cable and then with the long cable you screw that up the same and that is into the UHF VHF out. You screw it up finger tight and attach the boot. And therefore everything is now put together. It's a matter of now clipping this VHF element 
on the top back of the antenna. So you position it a little bit below the top as such and just simply push down. And there you have it. The antenna is put together. As far as the total antenna goes, now it's a matter of finishing off the U-bolt. Now this is the swing head. This allows the antenna to swing from vertical to horizontal and it has an arrow on the top. That arrow is to be positioned so that it points to the front. Just loosen these up a bit. To the front of the antenna and just above the top there. And then you tighten these up. The antenna is now ready for use. When you're in the country, you don't need to deploy these arms. If you're near a city, capital city location, the arms are deployed by gently easing them over the plastic lugs. And there you have the antenna. It's horizontal mode. And you, if you release this and turn it that way, it's in its vertical mode. However, if this is a VHF element, there's no VHF in, in vertical mode in the cities, so you will never have it in this mode in a capital city. In the, in the country, there is vertical and horizontal. So that's horizontal, that's vertical. So the antenna is now put together. It wasn't too hard, was it? The antenna comes complete with the Shrew Van Wall kit. This kit can be put straight through the wall of your van or you can remove one of your two push-in plugs. However, if you don't use this, you will not get the full benefit of the beautiful ability of this antenna to receive very low signal. There's a lot of impeders mismatch or a loss of signal when it goes through the push-in plugs of a van. We've had up to 10 dB, which is half a boost. So that part is imperative to be put on your van and this is the external cable which will screw into the external plate of that and this is the cable for inside your van to go to your TV. All cables use compression plugs and they are the latest and best quality for digital. So everything about this antenna is 100% no signal loss digital quality. The antenna comes with a carry bag, it's just a matter of gently winding the cables up, positioning the Antenna into the carry bag. There you go. This wonderful antenna is patented with a revolutionary new dual loop figure eight design, which means it puts very small single strength onto the TV. However, some of the TVs, some of the cheaper TVs, uh, have very poor tuners. Therefore, you may need a booster. We have the Easy Tune booster, which is clearly shown on the back of the brochure at the top, and that is recommended if you need, if you have a cheap TV, just to bring the signal up. But generally, with good quality TVs, this antenna does not need boosting.